Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. And today I am super excited because we are doing a little tourist in my city episode. Once I came up with this idea, I was like, man, I should have been doing this for years because I think it is kind of fun. It encourages me to get out in my community and do things that maybe I've been wanting to do for a long time and just have never gotten around to it. And the idea of being a tourist in your own city also encourages you to look around for things that you might not have ever heard of before. So if you are new here, hey, my name is Allie. I currently live in Columbus, Ohio. I've lived in Columbus off and on. I've been here except for college for the last 21 years. And my husband Ryan and my two puppy boys and I are about to move to Charleston, South Carolina area. And by the time you're seeing this video, I have already moved down. And so if you like moving content, definitely make sure to stick around. I'll be creating a whole playlist. And at this point, I already will have a couple moving vlogs out, including a video which I will link above where I do talk about why we're moving and what the home buying and home selling process has been like. But since this is a bookish lifestyle channel, I wanted my tourist in the city day to be kind of revolved around books and just kind of artsy stuff in general. Today is Sunday and fun fact, the Columbus Museum of Art is free on Sundays. And I have been before, but it's been quite a long time. So my husband and I are going to first go to the Columbus Museum of Art and then we do have a gift card to somewhere called the Spaghetti Warehouse. I know it's not just in Columbus, but not very many places. So after the museum and lunch, I think we're gonna go to the Columbus Library, which is very, very big and exciting. And I do not think I've been to the main branch in downtown Columbus since I went on a field trip in like sixth grade. So it has been a very long time. And it's not honestly somewhere that I would make a special trip to just because I am not a big city girl and I don't like to go downtown hardly ever. But since we're gonna be down there, you know, I thought it would be a really fun thing to add. And there's lots of great coffee shops as well. So we'll definitely be hitting up one on the way home. But if all that sounds good to you, definitely stick around and let's go down to the city.
All right guys, it is the next day and I just realized that I forgot to finish yesterday's video. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't talk at all during the actual vlog portion. I realized as we were going throughout the day that everything we did, aside from maybe like getting lunch, you had to be quiet, you know? So I just like couldn't really be talking to the camera too much. But it was such a lovely day. I think going to an art museum just kind of makes you feel like you are on a little mini vacation. At least for me, that's not really something that I do on a typical weekend when I am in my home city of Columbus. So I would encourage you to search for museums in your area and absolutely be on the lookout for if they have a free day of the week, like ours is Sunday, or if they just have other special promotions or events. Sometimes I know the museums around me, they will bring in special exhibits and maybe they'll have like a wine night or something like that. So it could be a really fun date night or just like a thing to go to by yourself or with your friends. And then if you do happen to be in the Columbus, Ohio area, I would recommend Spaghetti Warehouse. It was originally in a different part of the city and then it closed down for a few years. I'm not sure if there was like a fire or they just went out of business because of covid but now they are right by a beautiful grassy area called the commons as you saw in the video there were people walking out there with their dogs and it was just really nice to be able to have your lunch and be looking out and creeping on everybody in the park and also the columbus public library is super nice and i'm kind of jealous of people who live close enough that they can just walk there i think that would be an amazing place to be able to just go and work. Definitely very quiet, so I would not recommend taking meetings and things. I know some people do that in libraries. But very pretty, and they almost had like a mini art museum of their own, which was kind of cool. And the building itself is very, very lovely. And then they have like that nice outdoor park area. My husband and I were creeping down on all the people there. We were just sitting up on the third floor looking out the window for like 25 minutes. And then we didn't end up going to any of like the cute little coffee places downtown because everywhere we went was kind of just spaced out enough that we had to drive and we didn't want to leave a parking lot and then have to go find another parking lot just to get a coffee. And at that point, my husband had been gracious enough and he was ready to get back home and get back to packing. But he was kind enough to get me a Tim Hortons coffee. I'm absolutely gonna miss a good old Tim Hortons coffee. I don't think there's one anywhere around South Carolina. I think they kind of stop in Ohio and maybe there's some in Pennsylvania, West Virginia. So give this video a thumbs up if you are also a Tim Hortons coffee lover. But I do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are enjoying the moving series so far. As I'm sitting here filming this clip, I'm looking out and our house is a total wreck because we are fully in the midst of moving and I'm also in the midst of filming a week in my life vlog. So be on the lookout for that. That'll probably come out right after this one. But as you're enjoying this, just know that it's all over for me and we are settled down in South Carolina. So I'm very excited for my future self. But if you did like the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help my channel out a lot. But thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.